Okay, we're going to have a look at the Solder Pro uh, 125 gas iron, which is a pretty good iron. Um, it's got a, a mount on the side there. Um, you can see how much gas it's got in the cylinder down the bottom there. This is also to turn it up and turn it down. So I have mine set pretty low. Uh, just take the cap off. Pretty good tip. It's a 120 watt iron, which is pretty strong. So this is the on off switch. So we just switch it on and ignite. As easy as that. You can see the catalyst warming up there. So we'll see how it works. We'll uh, let that warm up. First we'll solder some 6mm automotive wire. So this stuff's relatively heavy cable for, for automotive stuff. It's the sort of cable that would run to an alternator. So we'll just twitch that together. And we're also going to solder some 2.5 TPS for any electricians out there. Yeah, so that hasn't been on for long. I might turn up a little bit. Nice and hot already. So. As you can see, we can get plenty of heat into that straight away. And good flow of the solder all over the cable, both sides. So very powerful iron. So yeah, you can see from that, yeah, you know, that's put a lot of heat into that straight away. So we're also going to solder some 2.5 TPS. Far more, a bit more stiff than the automotive cable. Once again, we'll just put a bit of solder on there. And you can see the flow straight through both cables. Yeah, not a problem. So, yeah, that's a pretty good join for a gas iron. So, now, this thing has a, a hood that will switch it off. So if the hood goes on in the right spot, it will switch the iron off by itself. So and then the iron can go back in a toolbox. It can be held. It's not that hot. Like it's warm but not hot. And if you also, uh, if you forget to solder anything, if the catalyst is still warm, when you switch the iron back on, it will self ignite if the catalyst is warm enough to do so. So yeah, all round, pretty good iron.